The diagram shows a semicircle ACB with center O and radius R. Arc OC is part of a circle with center A. 1. Express angle CAO in radians in terms of pi. So angle CAO is the angle over here. We are given that it's a semicircle and the center is at O with radius R. So if the center is at O, then OC must also be the radius as well. So we know for sure that OC must be R as well. It says that arc OC is part of a circle with center A. Therefore, AO is the radius of that circle with center A. If AO is the radius, then AC is also the radius of that circle with center A. Therefore, AC must also be equal to R. So if you look at triangle CAO, this is an equilateral triangle because all the side lengths are the same. So for an equilateral triangle, all the angles must be 60 degrees. And 60 degrees in radians is pi over 3 because pi is equal to 180 degrees. 2. Find the area of the shaded region in terms of r, pi, and root 3, simplifying your answer. So if we want to find the area of the shaded region, the area of the shaded region would equal the area of triangle ABC minus the area of the sector CAO. If you take away the sector CAO, you get the shaded bit. So we need to find the area of triangle ABC and the area of sector CAO. We already know that angle CAO is pi over 3 from part 1. And we also know that CA is equal to R as well. So to find the area of triangle ABC, we can do base times height divided by 2 or half AB sine C. Since we don't have base and height, but we have the sides AC and AB and the angle in between them, we can use half AB sine C. So that's half of AC times AB sine of angle, so sine of angle CAO. To find the area of the sector, it would be the fraction of the circle. So the fraction corresponds to angle CAO over 2 pi multiplied by pi r squared, where AO is the radius in this case. So the area of the sector CAO is equal to CAO over 2 pi multiplied by pi multiplied by AO squared. So we have everything we need in order to calculate the area of the shaded region. We have AC, we have AB, we have angle CAO, and we also have AO. So the area is equal to that. We know that AB is equal to 2R. AC is equal to R. Angle CAO is equal to pi over 3. And AO is equal to R. So if we substitute that all in, and then we can simplify the expression. So sine pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. So the first term simplifies to R squared root 3 over 2. The second term simplifies to pi r squared over 6. We can kind of factorize this and simplify this a bit. We can take r squared out from both terms, so it equals r squared multiplied by root 3 over 2 minus pi over 6.